And Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm Dara Breen, and you're watching our traditional end of year special. As you know, we love to take a look back at some of our favourite moments, outtakes, and unseen clips from the year gone by. In fact, let's be honest, we like to do this several times a year. It's relatively easy to knock one of these things up, and that means we get Christmas off. So sit back, enjoy it, and have a wonderful Christmas. I'm probably on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tease, what is going on here? Have they revealed the new title sequence to Dad's Army? <laughs> are, you, are you sure it's not the new easy jet route from London to Glasgow? <laughs> Is this the carbon footprint of a fair trade grape? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, in fact, the school run for Angelina and Brad? <laughs> yeah. Is it the new route for stacking over Heathrow? <laughs> Is it places EasyJet consider as London? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, you know the correct answer. Is this an American estimating where Europe is? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. It's, it's the route that Edward Snowden is attempting to take to avoid US justice. That's absolutely right. Thank you very much, Jack. Yeah. Mm. This is the escape route that whistleblower Edward Snowden planned to take after he left the United States. Snowden first flew from his home in Hawaii to Hong Kong, where he leaked secrets before escaping to Moscow. He was then due to fly into Ecuador via Havana, but at the time of this recording, he is still in the transit area of Moscow Airport. Mentally, you should all be transported to a man sitting on one of those blue chairs. Bing bong! <laughs> Havana! Bing bong! And he's sitting there. Just you know, just just he, him and a lot of people in trench coats and trilbies, big <laughs> newspapers with eye holes cut. Bing bong, bing bong. They don't know. They're kind of struggling to catch him as he comes off the plane. I've, I've got a plan. Have they tried standing there with a board with Edward Snowden written on it, just standing there? <laughs> He said he was relieved to land in Moscow, but then he was flying Aeroflot, so I should imagine <laughs> everybody was relieved to land in Moscow. Ah, oh, poor Aeroflot. God, I flew, I, I, no, I flew Aeroflot once from... When I was a student, I flew Aeroflot from Beijing to uh, Moscow, and I sat next to a bloke who had a mole, and he had a hair growing out of his mole, which was brushing against <laughs> my face. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there were loads of journals. The, the flight that he was supposed to take, and you know what seat he was in? 17A. Yes, it was 17A. That's Airflot seat 17A oh. that he was supposed to be there. Did he sit next to a man with a massive mole and a hair <laughs> growing out? He is the massive mole. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Very good. I'm hoping, I'm hoping at some stage they release a statement going, Where is he? He's where he's always been. He's in our hearts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> more like the uh, like, because he, he crosses the world all the time. Nobody's ever seen him. He's there, like whatever. And anything you write, any letter you write, he gets to read. <laughs> He's Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we all be leaving mince pies out from us? That how we <laughs> 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 the CIA will trap him in the end with yeah. just a little glass of sherry <laughs> and carrot and two. How are we? Look, Edward Snowden's been here tonight. The <laughs> carrot is half eaten. Yes. <laughs> oh, my emails have been read. <laughs> <laughs> what caused chaos and destruction in a flat in Henley on Thames this week? Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is uh, an exploding jar of chutney. Yes. Some lady's fridge door got blown off. So obviously the, the Women's Institute. They're now worried that they're going to get labelled as a terrorist organisation. <laughs> <laughs> See, are they going to have to start to bring bomb disposal squads? It's going to be the sequel to The Hurt Locker. It's just going to be a robot approaching a fridge with a, pit, with a ploughman's lunch that's not quite complete. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, her, hus her husband said, well, it's nice to see something in this house got blown off this week. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! <laughs> really? Really? What's happened? 
Oh, you, really well, you normally bring the political stuff. What's going on? <laughs> you backed up. <laughs> Two kids under three. <laughs> if it blows your fridge door off, imagine what would have done if you'd actually eaten it. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you belched, you could have said goodbye to your false teeth. Right? <laughs> is there a guy who's eaten it who they've had to cordon off? And then just going to go, yeah, we're, I'm Don't sorry. Tickle we're gonna... him. Don't tickle him! Don't tickle him! She said you got it, she said you got it from a friend. And he was thinking, well, who was her friend? Was it Abu Qatar? <laughs> <laughs> Are we not going to be able to take chutney on planes now? Yeah. <laughs> not that I always have to travel with a jar of chutney. <laughs> but, you know, I, I brought thing. my own, thank you very much. You're very kind. <laughs> it was a homemade chutney. It's a dreadful present. I hate that. They'll go, oh, Merry Christmas, I made you a jar of chutney. You go, I got you a digital radio. <laughs> Do you know what annoys me? It always comes in a jar that used to contain proper chutney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I can see you have had better chutney than me. I'm going to go, Merry Christmas, I've got you the Lord of the Rings box set. Well, I say that, I've removed the DVDs and kept them for myself. And then made a home video of what I imagine the film would be like. <laughs> Could save a lot of money for older folk. This, though, can't save the airfare for Switzerland. Buy some rhubarbs. <laughs> some rhubarbs with an S. Yeah, well, you need more than one rhubarb to make rhubarb chutney, Hugh. Maybe this is where your rhubarb chutney's been going wrong all these years. <laughs> <laughs> I think rhubarb is a collective is noun, rhubarb. isn't it? I yes. think it doesn't have Much a plural like with an S. <laughs> <laughs> What has gone up in one Kent town a tiny bit earlier than expected? <coughs> well... <laughs> it's a Christmas thing, isn't it? The Christmas it's a Christmas lights. thing, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah. yeah. What is it that's gone up? <laughs> Christmas, li Christmas lights First conversation gone up. ever. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas lights have gone up. Yes. <laughs> Christmas lights have gone up in a, in a town. Do you know what the town's called? Tenterden. Tenterden in Kent, yes. That's why were... you said it, it, what Kentish town? That was yes. the clue there. I knew it was in Kent because you said it's a Kentish town. Yes. <laughs> Well, it's Christmas all year in Kent because nobody works and everyone's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're discussing, but should we know we're discussing this in September uh, when we record this? Uh, so basically, we're mocking the people of Tenterden for putting their Christmas lights up in September while we record an item about it for the December show in September as well. So, frankly, it's a little bit ironic, uh, at least, well, and I... slightly hypocritical of us to be giving out to them. I, I had an absolute nightmare last Christmas. I'm not really look I'm not looking forward to it this year. Basically, first Christmas at my in laws, and I ate what I thought was a bowl of vegetable crisps, potpourri. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too polite to say no. Um, had a mouthful of it. Absolutely disgusted. <laughs> but, hey, well, you you smell no, lovely. Actually, did they actually I, offer you? No, the but they were in the it. middle of the buffet. <laughs> like as like, oh, I smells nice. I forgot to move it, and I had a, I had the, I had the awful shits. But <laughs> it smelled amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, it actually tastes like. Does it just taste tastes like a garden. <laughs> so, I know this is a bit unpleasant. What did your poo smell of? Well, it was a bit. Well, mainly shit. <laughs> Mainly normal You're never going to get away from that, are you? Yeah, yeah. I that, mean, I mean, it doesn't matter what you have. I mean, it was mainly poo, but there was a... <laughs> it was felt like, you know, like, you know, an air fresher that's on its way out? <laughs> and there weren't one in the toilet, but it felt like I'd made one. But, <laughs> it seemed like it fought the good fight, then, the poo for ease, didn't it? Yeah, it helped me out in the long run, but at the start, it was a bit heavy going. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> You know the news, why might this be affecting children? The story is that uh, there's concern that Le Lego minifigures are becoming <laughs> angrier. They're, or they're looking angrier, right? Of course, they're, of course they're angry. Of course Lego figures are angry. They're all alcoholics. <laughs> it's all this for them. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a, it's a, the report was that over the years, Lego uh, toys have become, have become more realistic and included more unhappy faces. It's been studied by uh, the Department of Too Much Time in Their Hands in the <laughs> University of, <laughs> the University of Why Don't Other Scientists yeah. Take Me Seriously? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That apparently Lego figures have become more, you know, they've expressed more... And a, a lot of it is due to the fact that, like, now Lego have a lot of kind of links in characters, like the Hulk. It, it doesn't work if you have a Hulk Lego figure going, Hi, I'm the Hulk, uh, with, a, with a benign yeah. face. Don't make me placid, you wouldn't like me when I'm placid. <laughs> there could be many more Lego faces that would be more appropriate, because you could have lots of, lots of happy ones, you could have miserable ones, you could have some Lego men that look quite paranoid, as if perhaps they wondered as if they were being controlled by giants. <laughs> 
I mean, yesterday I was, I, I was a fireman, and today <laughs> I seem to be on a boat. Uh, what is... <laughs> really, honestly, uh, you know, there's, there's no job consistency here, like, whatever. You train for one thing, you'll well, end up doing anything in Legoland. It's the modern life, isn't it? You, can't, it you don't have a trade for life anymore. <laughs> yes. We're all Lego old... men now, Dara. We're all Lego men now. No. <laughs> Listen, we are all Lego men. This is what we would look like. Uh, <laughs> 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 OK. Three of us <laughs> look ridiculous, and Andy looks like Lego Colombian drug dealer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Hugh looks look like... like George Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Uh... <laughs> exactly. That yeah. image is exactly what I think of when I'm trying to delay orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could agree. <laughs> <laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news mm. and ask Hugh to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features a Prince of Wales. Uh, good morning. Have you escaped from the top of a Christmas tree? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we're just picking up a few of the last Christmas items. So, uh, uh, tell me, what is this stuff? <laughs> well, it's bread, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? Yes, I, I, I get mine pre-sliced by the valet. I've never seen it in its natural... So what do you do to that? Well, you chop it, don't you, there? <laughs> yes, I, I think I'll stick to Dairy Lee Lunchables. Yes, anyway, lovely you up there. Come on, Camilla, they've got a two-for-one on Andrex Supersoft. So, uh, if... Oh, God. Oh, God, Camilla's been distracted by the pork again. Not the first time. <laughs> so, uh, Tell me, is it, is it cheese? Is it, is it cheese? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, well, um, oh, lovely. What is it? Is it a, is it a margarita? <laughs> I love a margarita. She was Queen of the Netherlands, you know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I give it down. I'm drinking a lot at the moment to take my mind off the fact that I'm not king. So, uh, <laughs> yes, what, what is that? What is that? Is that uh... Oh, that's a uh, salad dressing. Salad dressing? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It's a margarita. It's a salad dressing. Look, I've got the worm at the bottom there. Yes. Anyway, that's lovely. That puts hairs on your chest. Yes, I love that. I, I might... Uh, I, I tell you what, I'll... Uh, I, uh, I'll... Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll take a treat. That's what I'll do, yes. Oh, hello, Your Royal Highness. Would you be interested in trying some of this beautiful Turkish uh, delight for you? Oh, yes, that will be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I, um... Oh, that takes me back, yes. Yeah. Istanbul, 1978. Samir, his name was. Lovely, deep brown eyes, muscular arm. Held me tight. A wonderful, wonderful singing voice. Uh, could, you mind, could you put a few more sugars in there? It's a bit bland. Eleven, twelve is lovely. And do you, do you ever stir? I've left mine at home. Gerald, his name is. So, uh... <laughs> what might put you off eating chocolate? Seeing me naked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was this chocolate bar that had this sad face. A chocolate bar with a sad face? Why would that po oh, that can't possibly be the case? Let's have a look at the chocolate bar apparently with a sad face. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> it's great! Somebody <laughs> over the chocolate bar was already so conflicted they're eating it upside down, and then this little face stares at them. Like a, like a, like a reincarnated fat person who ironically has become a chocolate bar. Do you know, you realise we eat things with actual faces all the time. <laughs> you, know? you know what disturbs me about this? If they've got a face and that's the top half, and it means for years I've been eating chocolate bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, he looks like he needs a boost. Oh, yeah. You're stopping that right now. I'm literally going to shut the whole thing down if we get any more of these. If you want to see a sad truck in your yeah. face, you should go around Eric Pickle's house when the Nutellas run out. <laughs> <laughs> Further down, he's got a curly whirly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, once I had a chocolate bar at Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas from Mock the Week! Yeah. <laughs> What did Tesco supermarket draw, withdraw from sale recently? A doll yes. of a gay best friend. Yes, it was a doll of a gay best so, friend. So, uh, there it is. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not particularly realistic. It's, it's a third-party seller. So this is the problem with the, the, their, their website opened the third-party sellers. But it was removed. The description of the product uh, and said, if Sex and City and Willow Grace have taught us anything, is that gay best friends are in this season. <laughs> 
Look, she does, didn't it? He said it loves shopping, <laughs> loves dancing, and it'll tell you how big your bum is. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, oh, yeah. Dara's got a best friend, everybody. Uh, finally, finally. Why can't I find a fella? I know, I know, I know. You're the same. <laughs> oh. We just sit in and watch the DVDs together. It's not offensive, is it? Really, in any sense. I mean, I don't think. I think the gay community, right? They'll, they'll be they'll be less offended that it's a gay best friend, right? They'll be more offended that any gay person might dress that badly, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> look at that. Are, are those boots in right now? Uh, <laughs> You ought to look at the hair on the back of his head. Yeah. That is the weirdest thing. <laughs> it's his hairy ears I'm particularly impressed by. It, yeah. <laughs> I have never known the gay. I mean, these are people who will, like wax back, sack, crack the whole thing, right? Not ears. Not the ears. Yeah. The Not ears. ears. Hmm. I didn't know there was a thing in the gay community. The, uh, while yes. we're drawing attention to things that are not realistic about it, I think it's too small. <laughs> 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 That's. And please, don't use my head as a sense of scale. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> that can be confusing. At the moment, the gay best friend thinks that Ray Winston's going to give him some odds. Let him play for a gay man. Odds have changed all the time. So did you, you manage to buy one before it was removed from sale? Uh, yes, you... I bought one. They complained, so no one else can have one. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend. <laughs> <not your own. laughs> that? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Such a bitch. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... Exciting topical news moment here. Why might men not need scissors or sellotape this Christmas? Because okay. they're you... married. <laughs> <laughs> Because their wives do the wrapping. I was yeah. going to say, I was going to say that it's because you can get circumcision on the NHS and people. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's to do with the man wrap. Is it, it's to help men supposedly oh, right. who can't afford to find wrapping paper easier to wrap stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's essentially tin foil. This is man wrap, and it's supposed to save you. Hang on, I better do this so it actually works, right? You would pick a standard, yeah, like rectangular shape of this, and the idea is that you just wrap it around, and it is just tin foil. And then it wraps all the way around, and the then... The good thing is, you can also cook the present. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then you go, Happy Christmas! Uh, I've, we've got a lot of effort to make it look like a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just imagining as well that in your house you actually do give people Lieber Arch files as Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> It is a photo album oh, for your treasured family memories. If you, if you buy somebody something as unimaginative as a photo album or a diary for the coming year or something like that, the only effort you can make is to wrap it nicely. <laughs> this now removes even that small they've given, they've given me a series of things, like, somebody went out and said, oh, this will illustrate the problems of man wrap <laughs> Look, I, I don't want to say it, but okay. clearly, what do you get your wife for Christmas? Uh, Some cock. Uh, <laughs> it's essentially what this is. But, but also, surely, if men are useless enough to have struggled with wrapping paper, they're useless enough not to have actually remembered to buy a present. So they're going to have the wrapping paper, then they're going to go, oh, I haven't got a present. They'll then get the wrapping paper, wrap that in newspaper, and give that as the bloody present. <laughs> did, you, they, did you say yeah, they have yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> not bad. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 It is bad it is. It's when all... they open it. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Now it's good. Oh, my God, that's really sweet. Oh, what a lovely thing. Hang on, why don't I just tear off this... Look, oh, oh, right. Uh, wow, darling, thank you very much. Some cock. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, yeah, yeah, the, guy that, the guy that um, came up with it. The other thing you got me, like, who, who, why did you give me this random collection of stuff? <laughs> so who gives you cattle? Okay, now hang on a second. If you got somebody a kettle skin. for Christmas, it would still at least be in a box. <laughs> right? If you give somebody a kettle that's not in a box, Oh, oh, Ma, I'm out of man rap! <laughs> <laughs> I think it is quite sexist, though, to call that man rap. You know, we don't call parking sensors woman helpers, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm saying we don't. Hang on. <laughs> uh, in other news, what's going on here? <clears throat> he should have gone to Specsave, is that one, <laughs> shouldn't he? <laughs> Is that what happens if you Google Canadian pornography? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a statue. It's a statue. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's in somebody's garden. It's a beautiful artwork. It's made in bronze and washable latex. Mm. So. <laughs>
I believe in the uh, in the moose community they refer to this as brass rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Is the caption horse regrets novelty hat? <laughs> Worst Halloween ever. <laughs> For all the amusement value, though, there isn't really a man on earth who doesn't look at that and feel a slight stab of empathy. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a really small garden, though, that is how you would stack them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like chairs in yeah. a parish hall. Uh, <laughs> is the no, caption no. Mock the Week Christmas special shorter than expected? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else give a shit about this particular story? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dara Brian. Happy Christmas and welcome to a special festive edition of Mock the Week. We'll be talking about Christmas as well as looking back at some of our favourite moments from the last year along with some ah la 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 ah la 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 ha la 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 So happy ha la 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 to you, to all of our, all of our multi-faith viewers. Happy ha la 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 to have a wonderful ha la 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 uh, la 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 How has Cameron come out of this? Through a duel? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you showed him. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? How sure am I, Merry Christmas, that this answer will end up in the Christmas compilation? <laughs> <laughs> Genuine racist seeks <laughs> need not apply. I'll say it again. <laughs> Genuine racist seeks need not apply. <laughs> hey, would you answer this question? Cause, no problem. Because uh, you're here. Uh, <laughs> where did Andy have uh, tea the day after his win? Uh, in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again, shall we? Usually, though. So, where did Andy have tea the day after his win? In his mouth. No, just do it properly. <laughs> what? What? What's what? <laughs> what happened? What? Technical flaws? Errors? We're not fast enough. It was what? a bit dark, apparently. One more time. If you could do it in a more kind of upbeat <laughs> way, apparently it's a bit dark. Uh, <laughs> the way you walked over reminds us all of our own mortality. <laughs> New runway red lip balm from Superglue. <laughs> oh. Because we've under missed. Oh, fucking bollocks. <laughs> okay, at the end. At the end of that round. <laughs> at the end of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> once <laughs> you've stopped doing your old person bit, uh, <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> Any other news? Ed, you're on a roll. See if you can get this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you people? Look, Ed is making you look like fucking idiots here. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> so it stopped because apparently I had some glitter on me. <laughs> well, I'm your gay best friend. Yeah. From <laughs> you. <laughs> well. Topic is commercials that never made it to air. I wipe my ass with Colgate. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've got a ring of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> if it tastes like butter and spreads straight from the fridge, you've probably had a power cut. <laughs> <laughs> Condoms, because if she'd sleep with you, she'd sleep with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ryanair, because I'm worth shit. <laughs> Frosty is there. They're all right. <laughs> New BG from Garnier. Exfoliates, hydrates, epilates, urinates. Probably not that last one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Unlimited minutes, unlimited text, unlimited music downloads. Yes, it's our new twat on a train tariff. <laughs> Have a break. Have a wank. <laughs> ah. Maybe she's born with it. In which case, I probably shouldn't take the piss. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Bekele has to walk for five miles every day for fresh water. That's why she ought to be thinking about the new Mazda. <laughs> Coco Chanel. Says bloody honourable, I'm sticking to Horlicks. <laughs> Lidl, because life didn't work out as you planned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Bacon, doing an ad on British TV. What happened? <laughs> The DFS furniture sale is... is not currently on. <laughs> this Christmas, get mocked a week on DVD, featuring all the regulars. Doro, Brent, and... Andy Parsons, Will, Milton Jones, um, and, of course, don't forget Mickey Flanagan, East End of London. And, of course, don't forget Mickey Flanagan, East End of London. And, of course, don't forget Mickey Flanagan, East End of London. And, of course, don't forget Mickey OK. The next topic is unlikely things to hear at Christmas time. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> yes, it's just what I wanted. A Sean Walsh DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the evening's not been wasted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep it festive. Keep it festive, all right? <laughs> I know you don't like the fairy, but he's our son's boyfriend and he makes him very happy. <laughs> right, now, it's time for the nutty fruitcake soaked in booze. Come on down, Granny. <laughs> George Michael, you are accused of trafficking in human organs. Last Christmas, someone gave you their heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, just socks and aftershave. Why, what did you wear to church? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you really shouldn't have. No, seriously, you really shouldn't have. They're an endangered species. You can't make <laughs> shoes from them. <laughs> Well, it's nearly midnight and I can hear Big Ben. He's upstairs shagging my wife. I'm not <laughs> doing that. I went to Africa last year. They do know it's Christmas. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Strap in. Huh? Daddy, I just watched the snowman, and, and at the end, the ginger kid survived! <laughs> <laughs> Last year, for Christmas, to help my grandfather give up smoking, I bought him a petrol-infused cigarette. His face lit up. <laughs> <laughs> When I told you to serve mulled wine to the next-door neighbours with no cloves... <laughs> <laughs> Put your pants on, son. <laughs> Santa, that wasn't the sack I wanted empty. <laughs> he's out of control. He is, he is, he's, out, he's out of control. <laughs> out of control. What? It's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's you. Welcome to the Mock the Week. Christmas special, which, after Daro Breen's recent arrest for turkey worrying, <laughs> was obviously recorded in October. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
That was the Christmas number one. And now for the Christmas number two. Cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> Goodbye, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Oh, guys, you really shouldn't have. No, seriously, you should. These, these are poisonous. Where did you pick them? These, these are, have, have you washed your hands? Where, where's Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> I know we said we'd take it in turns with our parents, but I just don't fancy your mum. <laughs> 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 what a Christmas single with me and a tiny inflatable gay dog. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the weirdest Christmas. Hey, this Christmas, why don't I bring in the new? Yeah. <laughs> 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 